actually born in China, and I came to New York to go to college. I had school music when I was, I think, 17 years old. So to the question, how I discovered my piano, I mean, I was born from a music family. My father, he's a very, very, very talented violinist, and my mom was a very famous dancer in China before. So I have this, um, I was lucky enough to have the background that I was always surrounded by music. My dad got me a piano before I was born, but then I started violin first when I was three years old um, to study with him. And later, for some reason, I switched to piano. And I just, I was so in love with the sound, I guess. And then I began my journey. When I was a school, I remember I grabbed every chance I have to uh, go to master classes, to listen to different concerts, to try to uh, get this little bit of the culture. But still, it's not enough. You're living in China, it's a totally different world, you know. Um, that's probably why, when I was very young, I decided I made my, I had this very firm determination, um, I mean, the decision that I would come to New York one day to continue study piano. I'll, I'll say um, it happened so fast, um, just like how China is developing in the last 15, 20 years. Uh, almost before, maybe 25 years ago, I don't think anyone actually plays piano there. Well, few people, but now that's common, like right now. And then things start to change so fast. China was trying to keep up with the world, I guess the industrial world developing too fast and they're always trying to keep up with the Westerns, whatever, especially America, whatever America has, whatever American people are doing. So um, then I guess it's a symbol, Western symbol, that piano is something so ideal for them. They're dreaming, maybe it's a part of freedom they're looking for. I consider myself like a soldier. We do have a mission to um, to push it forward. Uh, it doesn't matter how how the world is gonna be. Uh, it's gonna how the world will become. But I think it depends on us. If we try very hard to um, protect this last bit of the culture, the piano, the great culture, I think we can make it. So I don't care. I will just practice playing the music and love it. And wherever I go, I hope people will always enjoy my music and I would like to share it in every bit corner of the world.